Hey, it's your buddy Peace and Harmony with you here today. The borderline personality disordered female and their chronic feelings of boredom. Uh, one thing that kind of emerges from the personality disordered female with borderline personality disorder or tendencies and kind of stemming from a chronic feeling of emptiness is their chronic feeling, um, undergirding feeling of constant boredom. So uh, boredom basically just means they can't sit still, they don't feel very contented, um, even if they've accomplished a lot or done a lot, they, they can't seem to book their calendar tight enough, they tend to generally overschedule themselves, and they tend to really kind of take for granted the people that are in the way of them living their life. In other words, they're definitely going to put you know a lot of their uh, kind of entertainment needs before relationship needs. So whether this is traveling, whether this is sport activity, whether this is um, entertainment such as going out for meals, going out for uh, shopping, they're definitely going to put kind of what they, I think what I would consider is just like a simulation, you know, a hyper simulation, they're just going to overbook themselves and kind of remain in a, in a chronic overwhelmed state and much to the deficit of, of relationships with people, at least in the depth. They might have a, a quantity of relationships, but I would say there's a certain quality that is perhaps lacking with these people. They're just not able to really relate in sort of a comfortable, contented manner, you know, where you kind of maybe never quite feel comfortable around them. There's always kind of an emanation of discomfort around them uh, just because their minds are constantly going. Their minds are constantly, you know, and the next step ahead. They're, um, I would say it's very difficult for them to seem like they're in the present, which is meaning contented for the moment. Contented meaning just at peace and at joy with what is around them and, you know, kind of like a happiness. Um, where you know a lot of people a lot of people find it difficult to be happy or a lot of people find it difficult to be uh, content and so I think with that I mean especially in now in today's society um, at least in certain areas of the country uh, of the US things are becoming so high paced things are becoming uh, you know change at such a, a rapid pace that it's very difficult to feel like once you've learned something you know, and like gotten used to it or gotten good at it, you know, things are always constantly on the up and up. Things are constantly changing from software to the roads, to housing, to relationships, to goods and services. You know, things are constantly in a never ending kind of like improvement sort of mentality. And whether that's, you know, good for an economy or a person, that's really up to you to, to decide. But looking more at the nature of the disordered uh, person, a personality disordered person such as a borderline female, it can cause a lot of duress and distress in people who are you know, in relations with them. If it's a family member, they can cause or uh, wreak a lot of havoc, a lot of conflict, and kind of a lot of conflict consciousness. So uh, very difficult, especially if that person perhaps is a parent and you know they're they're constantly kind of into their own lives and just kind of trying to plug their kids into a system without it really maybe being in their best interest or in their best favor or kind of processed with the adult there in mind you know it's just kind of like drop off the kids and like you know they're supposed to very very much like kind of like guide themselves or process things themselves when they're really maybe not mature enough or ready to do those things because their brains aren't developed enough to the point where they're self-guiding. You know, kids generally need guidance, you know, nowadays all the way, you know, through their college. Um, kids really need the, the, the presence of their, of their family there in a lot of ways. Now, and each person, you know, varies, but generally, you know, the borderline female in terms of a mother figure, I would say they're quite a bit absent. And, you know, their boredom in their own life steers them away from kind of being able to be available for their children in sort of uh, a natural nurturing maternal way I would say and I'm sure the borderline would be um, you know uh, apt to argue that point because usually in the generally in the borderlines mind 
just like with a narcissist or a psychopath, they generally do not feel that they have done anything wrong. They don't see that they've done anything wrong. I think the borderline is so over, over schedule, you know, they feel like, well, I did the best I could, you know, things like that when, you know, I, I think it, it must be difficult to not to see, you know, how they're hurting people and especially, you know, if they're being caused to come into treatment or their boredom, their propensity to boredom results in like uh, excessive drinking, like um, alcoholism, alcohol abuse, heavy drinking. Um, not being for the children, in other words, being bored by being with the children, um, being bored and not wanting to eat dinner with them. So the kids eat alone from the parents. The parents maybe go off and do their own activities, um, their own outings, you know, or drink when they get home and really are not kind of there for the kids. You know, I think the borderline, you know, the boredom manifests in this way. And if you've experienced a borderline or if you are a borderline person, I'd be interested in your um, feedback on this because, you know, your insights would, you know, prove valuable as well as we kind of join insights here together in this uh, channel. So the boredom, you know, can really manifest in some destructive ways. And it's also sad because, you know, um, I think to constantly having to push oneself and push others and live in a discontented, kind of ungrounded format is has got to be very exhausting. It's got to be very stressful, and it's got to be, you know, it's just, I guess, how their life has always been, and I can't say that they haven't gotten their full because generally, you know, these borderline people, I think, are, are fairly big consumers, you know, big consumers of activities, goods, services, um, things of that nature, and yet you know um they don't really kind of tend to brag i would say about these as much as perhaps a narcissist uh would but it's just kind of like where they're a little bit separate from everybody else and that they're in this constant kind of road and cycl cyclical satisfaction of like going places and trying to keep it moving and keeping busy it's just almost to an unhealthy degree so that's the manifestation of um a pervasive feeling of boredom uh, kind of demonstrated within the borderline personality as it plays out. I hope these videos and insights are a help. Please share, please subscribe for more great tools, videos, discussions, and support.